Welcome back to Food, Fitness, and Faith. Today we're going to do the book of Philippians. You're welcome to read chapter 3. And we're going to highlight and journal and scribe the verse 19. But let's go ahead and do the devotional first. If you want to lose weight, don't dare go on a diet. It's a sad fact, but true. In the vast majority of cases, diets simply don't work. In fact, one study that examined the results of popular diets conducted that nearly 100% of dieters suffer almost complete relapse after three to five years. In other words, dieters, dieters almost always return to their pre-diet weights or to even higher weight levels. If diets don't work, what should you do if you weigh more than you should? The answer is straightforward. If you need to lose weight, don't start dieting change your lifestyle so go ahead and write down a few thoughts on the wisdom of being moderate in other words eating moderately so let's look at verse 19 i inscribed it in the translation of nasb and the message and the niv that i highlighted underlined it in my bible says their destiny is destruction and i underlined it with brown, which to acknowledge our sinful nature and for us to repent. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. Hmm, that's tough. Anyways, I went ahead and let's do the NASB translation whose end is destruction, whose God is their appetite, and whose glory is in their shame, which is very similar to the NIV, who sets their mind on earthly things. And the message says, stick with me, friends. Keep track of those you see running the same course, headed for the same goal. There are many out there taking other paths, choosing other goals, and trying to get you to go along with them. I have warned you of them many times. Sadly, I'm having to do it again. All they want is easy street. They hate Christ's cross, but easy street is that dead end street. Those who live there make their bellies their gods, belches are their praise. All they can think of it is their appetites. Yikes. So my reflection for today was to not set my mind on earthly things. Be alert and do not take the easy way out. You know, taking the pills to lose the weight or just the easy way out that we and I have taken in the past. It will be a dead end straight filled with disappointments. These are all temporary circumstances not worth our focus. And I ask the Lord help me step out in obedience today. For me to focus on Jesus, on his word, and meditate and be renewed by his word. Remind, remember, the truth reminds us that the truth will set us free. Lord, I would like to share and repent my retail shopping. I also like to repent my tendencies to overindulge in crackers and M&Ms. I counted my blessings, best antidote for discontentment. I prayed specifically. And then go ahead and jot down these additional verses. Romans chapter 6, verse 21, chapter 16, verse 18, and Colossians chapter 3 and 2. So the Colossians chapter 3, 2 will remind us, set your mind and keep focus habitually on the things above, the heavenly things, not on the things that are on earth, which have only temporal value. Isn't that the truth? You all have a blessed day and we'll come and meet again for another segment at a later date on food, fitness, and faith. God bless.